Welcome to a video taking a look at calculating the area of a segment. In order to work out the area of the segment, which is this shaded part, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to start by calculating the area of the sector. So the sector is that pizza shape. Then, once I've worked out the area of the sector, if I can work out the area of that triangle, what I can then do is I can subtract the two to work out what the area of that segment will be. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by calculating the area of the sector. Now this is nice and straightforward. All I need to do to work out the area of the sector is I'm going to take the proportion of the circle that this sector is taking up. So if I look here, what it, this angle is telling me is that this sector is taking up 30 degrees out of 360 degrees in the entire circle. So the proportion of the sector is 30 over 360. And then what I can then do is simply multiply that by the area for the entire circle. So I'm going to use pi r squared to work that out. So it'll be 30 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 4 squared. Next, I'm then going to work out the area of the triangle. Now, the problem with working out the area of the triangle is I don't know the height. Usually, I would use half base times height to work out the area of a triangle. So what I'm going to need to use instead is a different formula for working out the area of a triangle. It's not half base times height. The formula that I can use if I don't know the height of a triangle is half a, B, sine, C. Okay, now this formula, half A, B, sine, C, A refers to, the A and B refers to the lengths which are trapping the angle C. So half A, B is the lengths which are trapping the angle and then C refers to the angle that is being trapped. So substituting into half AB sine C, I'm going to do half multiplied by 4, multiplied by 4, multiplied by sine 30. Now all that's left for me to do is to subtract the 2. So in order to do this, I'm just going to type this into my calculator now. So 30 over 360 for the area of my sector. 30 over 360 multiplied by pi, multiplied by 4 squared. So that gives me the area of the sector. And then from that, I just need to subtract the area of my triangle. So the area of my triangle is half, or 0 0.5, times 4, times 4, times sine 30. And then when I press equals, that gives me an answer of, uh, we'll give this to three significant figures. This gives us an answer of 0 0.189. 0 0.189 to three significant figures. We're dealing with centimeters. So that is centimeters squared. Okay. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, same idea. I'm going to start to, in order to calculate the area of this segment, I'm going to start by calculating the area of the sector, the pizza shape. So the proportion of the sector that I've got here is 70 degrees out of 360, and then multiply that by the area of the entire circle, which we'd work out using pi r squared, so multiplied by pi times by 8 squared. Then, working out the area of the triangle, again, I'm going to have to use the half AB sine C formula. And so, that is going to give me half multiplied by the two lengths which trap the angle. So, it's half multiplied by 8, multiplied by 8. So, multiplied by 8, multiplied by 8. And then, I'm going to multiply that by the sine 
of the angle that has been trapped by the two lengths, which is 70. And just a little thing here, obviously this length here is 8 as well, because that is um, that length will be the same because it's a radius of the circle. So, last thing to do is to then work out what the area of the segment will be. And I'm then going to just type this all into my calculator and subtract the two. So, for the area of the sector, 70 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 8 squared. So that gives me the area of my sector. And then from that, I'm going to subtract the area of the circle. So half multiplied by 8 multiplied by 8 multiplied by sine 70. And that gives me an area of my segment of, and again, I'll give it to three significant figures, 9.03, 9.03. This time we were dealing with meters, and so that's 9.03 meters squared. Okay, uh, what I've got here for you, for you is two questions that you can practice on. If you pause the video now, um, attempt these questions, and then press play to see the answers. So here are the answers. What we should have got was uh, 9.06, um, and that's two, three significant figures. Uh, the answer down the bottom here I've given is to two decimal places. If you gave it to three significant figures, you could say that's 39.9. Uh, 39 